Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. So we're just uh, <laughs> we're just monitoring our people to make sure that they do as they're supposed to. And it does appear that they might actually be doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, so, uh, well, I guess, okay. So here's the thing. Uh, as, uh, as you may know or may or may not know, I've been trying to get um, basically flax fields set up. Uh, I left it a bit late on in summer. I didn't prep for it, or spring, I should say. I didn't prep correctly. All kinds of things that have been, you know, pointed out. Um, but uh, I did sort of try to get some stuff put together at the last minute. And it does look like they might actually be able to pull it off. We are uh, basically partway through the third day of spring. It, this, this little field right here that I had uh, re purposed for flax appears to have been completely finished um, so they did good work on this uh, I, I had four people that I had signed to uh, work on fields but the the fourth one Bolabor he was brand new yeah he was still making his way from the village and in reality what he, he wasn't even doing that I think what happened was because he was he was set up to do uh, field work but because there wasn't basically enough I guess slots in the in the currently available fields uh, for him to work on them because I've got these big fields which I'll touch on in a minute. Um, yeah, he was basically just hanging out. He was just standing there outside uh, uh, Gustovia, and so yeah, I basically said, "Oh well, why don't you become a fisherman?" And then, and then he started moving down here, and he's gonna work on fishing. I guess I don't know. I just did that to get him uh, get him moving. Uh, towards the thing so that he had some, the, the my village so that he had something to do in the meantime it looks like this has been all cleared we've got three people working on the field um even if they don't finish it today which i mean look at that they've already got some of it seeded uh, even if they don't finish on it today i'll be happy to be honest with you and look at that there's two of them they're actually hoeing at the same time you know what i'm just gonna go with it and uh, if I get a little bit of flax out of this season, then I'll be happy. Now, uh, as usual, Norberta, she's... Um, hi, Norberta, how you doing? H how you doing today? You know what? Someone said I should... Uh, um, uh, do you have a minute? Oh, we can't really... Oh, well, I could just at least talk to you. I haven't had no time for idle chit-chat right now. Whoa, okay, I think I must have done something wrong. Actually, I was chatting with her earlier, so I used up all my chat slots, I suppose. Um, right. So the big, the thing that, um, people have been saying is that, uh, working with a series of small fields p appears to be a little bit more manageable than having a bunch of big fields. Is that true? Uh, there's certain, there's a certain logic behind it and it does kind of make sense. So maybe that's what I'll do in the, in the, you know, in the long term. I do admit that I have to rethink my whole farming and field strategy just because, you know, I came to be, I see, I seem to be like just very haphazard and everything at the last minute and kind of panicky and all that other stuff. Yeah. But, um, ah, whatever. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm just, I'm just playing the, this one, this game to enjoy it. So I'm quite happy with how things are turning out. Now, when last we left off, left off um, we had a, uh, smithy built and, um, I had pointed out that crafting, no, uh, Building, crafting. I had pointed out that the smithy was tier two, but it was smithy one. And and someone said, well, or a, a few people have said that, well, yeah, the workshop is the tier one smithy. So yeah, the the smithy is the tier two smithy, and the tier three smithy is the tier tier two smithy is the tier three. You get my point. The point is that the first tier is taken up by the workshop, which makes sense because if you go over to the workshop, which, by the way, I might tear down because I don't think I need it anymore. Um, if we take a look at the workshop, we can see that we can make stone tools, archery, wicker and wooden wooden tools, right? I just I think I just ejected somebody from the workshop. I'm going to have to move them over to the smithy. Um and basically, we have the same exact thing here. And I don't really need both of them. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to reassign uh, management. And if we go to the... Let's take a look here. The workshop. We currently have assigned Alruna. And I'm going to assign Alruna to work on the... Here, I'm going to assign Alruna. 
there now she's a craftsman here right and um basically i i um yeah there we go i think that should have done it assigned to workspace alruna did i do that is that is that actually hang on a minute let's make sure alruna is a craftsman okay you know what smithy right the workshop now has no uh no workers and the thing is that I do have a little bit of a, a kind of a, a, an array of assignments here. I wish I could copy these ass assignments. But basically, I think what I can do is I'll go into the smithy and I'll set up. Uh, right now, there's nothing, right? But I don't know. We'll just maybe the odd building hammer. We don't need spears, but we don't need bolts. Um, you know, I mean, maybe make a shovel every once in a while. Is this a good idea, by the way? I have no idea. I'm just sort of just trying a few things out here. I'm just going to say it's torches and um, stone skinning knives. Let's do 20%. We could sell whatever we don't use, right? But these things are all kind of handy. We could have them make a stone hoe or uh, recur uh, basically stone arrows. Yeah, I don't really don't really think you know what i should do is get them to make iron arrows and that is actually what i wanted to uh look at today you know let's go back and look at what i did with the workshop basically i did hammer shovel bow yeah i think i was just basically just having them make a whole bunch of of a variety of different things i'll, I'll probably just do the same thing i like i said i'm not really too uh too worried about it let's just do 20 20 and then uh do bows no resources Ooh. oh i need linen i need linen for the bow i probably have no resources for the uh the longbow either that would be cool if we could make our own longbows uh can i make no resources for the torch i think you need uh sticks and leather what are we missing sticks and leather we're missing what sticks probably yeah, we're probably missing sticks. I'm going to have to adjust the uh, gathering again, I think, to make sure that we always have sticks. At least a few. Uh, stone axes. Uh, what the hey? Let's just have 20. There we go. That's good enough. I think I think that'll work. And then um, in the long run, we can, we can see what we can do about all this stuff. But that's... There we go. That's fine. And then what I think I might do is I might just uh, destroy the... Uh, the workshop because uh, it it's redundant and i'm paying tax on it so if we take this and we basically go uh destroy then we can yeah that's it be gone <laughs> is this the right thing to do i don't know but i'm feeling pretty good about it <laughs> and then we can get rid of the uh the road that leads up to it because it, it there's no longer anything there and I'll eventually replace that with something else here. Let's, let's get rid of you. Uh, it looks like the day is over as far as their work is concerned. Yeah, they got partway through this field. That's not too bad. I mean, okay, they they only planted a portion of it. That's all right. I can, I can, I'm fine with that. I'll, I'm gonna have to redesign all that stuff, anyways. See, everybody's taking a break now. We got one full field of flax over here. I'm, and I'm happy with that. This one right here. So, yeah, that's cool. Good enough. <laughs> I'm not, I, I'm not a, a harsh taskmaster. I just ask, and if they can, if they can do some things, then that's great. If they can't, then that's fine too. And I'm cool with that. Now, the, the, the Smithy introduces an interesting concept of something. It's something that I haven't really worked on yet too much. And that is, uh, metal to iron tools. Now these are all locked, but I wouldn't mind being able to make, I don't know, at least try out the iron axe or iron building hammer. I don't really care about much. I'm good. I would like to get the shearing scissors, scissors eventually because I do want to get uh, sheep. But then again, if someone works in the sheep, I, I may not need them myself as long as my people can do the work. An iron skinning knife would be kind of nice. Right, so what do I need? I need sticks, iron, and wool thread. Wow, that is... Yeah, that's a problem. I don't have wool thread. Uh, but I can make myself a, uh, a pickaxe, for example, log and iron, and I can do an iron building hammer. So let's try making an axe, actually. Log and iron. Okay. 
And so if I go to uh, technology and then I go in, is it going to be crafting here and smithy, right? And then here is where I can basically buy. So I want to, let's say I want to build an ax and I want to be able to build a pickaxe and a building hammer. And I don't really care too much about some of this stuff. Oh, maybe a stack of 50 iron arrows. I would love to be able to make my own iron arrows. So that would be kind of cool. In fact, maybe I'll get um, Alruna to do it. But I think the first time I might want to do it myself. It's 10 iron. Ooh, 50 sticks and 10 iron. What is my stick situation? Because I get put the axe away. I'm going to poke your eye out. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure we have no sticks. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, we have logs. We don't have... We have firewood. Are they not gathering sticks? I thought I'd set up sticks. Oh, we have one stick. There you go. That's that's pretty. That's that's absolutely amazing. Um, we're almost at the end, uh, into the next season, by the way. So before that happens, let's do a little bit of a review of the of our management again. Um, I'm going to leave people pretty well the way they are right now. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, Bola Bor, uh Maybe well, summertime. We're going to be harvesting flax, and we're going to be planting cabbage. Uh, so perhaps I should prep that out. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should prep that out. That's probably a good idea. Um, let's take a look, actually. Let's do that first. Okay. So the two flax fields, the carrot field is going to be harvested in the fall. Uh, or actually, wait a minute. These were carrots that were planted in winter, so they're going to be they're going to be harvested in the next uh, in summer, right? And then you've got the uh, you've got this flax field here. And if we take a look, we'll see that most of it wasn't done. That's okay. What we'll do is we'll just convert some of this into cabbage. This one, we'll just convert half of it into cabbage, um, for whatever reason. <laughs> actually, well, we could just do. Uh, we could just do this. We could just do convert everything that isn't flax into cabbage because they're never going to get to it. And let's see how far they get. That and that'll that'll um that'll cover my cabbage fixation that I have. Apparently, um, I don't know. It seems that I have a fixation on cabbage, but we're not going to worry about that. Uh, now the flax, I'm going to leave it alone because it's currently flax, and that's fine. Okay. Now, accept that. So we've got the fields sorted out, right? Um. This is a big giant field. I, I was warned against this, and I'll probably change it eventually, but for now, we're just going to leave it. Now, what else? Um, the other thing we want to do is maybe uh, set up... Well, let's take a look again at, at our peoples. Actually, let's go here. So we're going to leave Nishtanka alone as the lumberjack. She's been our lumberjack forever, and she's fine. We might have to do something about her house, because I think it's... She's not happy with her current living conditions, and I think that's what's going on there, because Daggerad also is upset, and they live together. Uh, Alruna is good, and she's a craftsman. We'll make sure that she's fine. Albreda, she's been my miner forever. She's fine. She's uh, basically, yeah, her extraction is three. Uh, Mod the Boga is a, is a gatherer. I don't really utilize her as much as I probably should. We're going into summertime. So maybe we could look at, at uh, her situation. In fact, we can go over to the uh, hunting lodge and take a look at the distribution for my gatherer, which is going to need to be berries for summertime. So we're going to back off mushrooms and go 100% berries. And... Yeah, it's probably, I mean, I could pick berries faster than she can, but at least we got somebody working on it. And she does a good job. <laughs> so we're, I'm fine with that. All right. And then, okay, so that's Modli Boga. And then we've got our hunter, Edgar. He's been hunting forever. He's a, a level three hunter. He does a good job. No complaints. Maynard is a field worker. He's mediocre. He's not too bad. He does a good job. Uh, Drawazy's a new lumberjack, and yeah, level uh, that's the ex an extraction. Drawazy's doing fine. We're just going to leave that alone. The one thing I will look at as far as the lumberjacks are concerned is 
Um, one suggestion that I received is for the woodsheds uh, is to basically m not divide like this, but maybe try out 15%, uh, actually 30% sticks on one, right? That was a good idea, actually, and I think I'm going to try it out. Just testing these things out. What the hay? And then 30% um, firewood on the other one. So they both do 70% logs, but one focuses on firewood as their alternative, and the other focuses on sticks as their alternative. Is that going to work? I don't know, but we can give it a shot. All right, that's Jerwazi. The field worker, Dargarad, uh, he is a... Uh, Oh, wow. Look at, he's actually cranking up his uh, field working. That's actually, that's the first time I've seen anybody gain a point. Holy moly. That's awesome. Uh, Will Truda also is a good field worker. So we're going to leave her there. And then Nita Mira is my, uh, she's a crafts person. She works for, she is an innkeeper. And so we're just going to leave her doing that. She's been cooking for me. Um, she isn't fast, but she's, she's doing her thing. Bolabor is an extraction person, and I have him doing fishing. I might have to work on that. And then Henrika, we didn't really know what to do. Henrika is also, uh, well, diplomacy and uh, hunting. Yeah, hunter. What I should do is actually set, uh, unset Bolabor as the fisher person. And I'm saying Fisher person because of Henrika being a female. So, <laughs> um, right. And then set Henrika as my Fisher. Wait a minute. Let's assign her to the fishing hut. Okay. I'm fisherman. There we go. Um, why? Because I don't really have anything else for her right now. Right. Um, I think that's probably the, wait a minute. If I hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's do this, approach this from a different angle. Cause I want to check something out. If you basically say, I want to assign it. Oh, it's this one here. Where's Henrika? She's already there. So it's the fit. Oh, of course it's the symbol with the fish. Good grief. How could I have not noticed that? She's terrible at it. For some reason, I got it in my head because, you know, fishing and hunting are usually tied together, but, oh boy. All right, fine. Um, unassign. This is the right time to do this. It's at the end of the season, so let's set you, uh, let's set you up on the fishing. No, 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 no. Not the hunting lodge, the fishing hut. There we go. There we go. Okay. So Boulder Boar's fishing. Henrika is, oh man. So which, which one should be, uh, really, I, I, I think that, uh, oh, I don't even know. I'm going to have to think about what to do with, uh, with Boulder Boar or with Henrika. I mean, she's, she can do extraction as well, right? All right. Well, I'm going to just keep her doing nothing for now. What we could do is maybe just put her in like a, I don't know. What do we, what do we, what is there that we could do? Yeah. I don't have anything at the moment. We could have her set up in, in, uh, re in the big resource storage. There we go. And be done with it. And she can just manage the resource storage. Oh yeah. She's, she's terrible at that too. She's a storekeeper. All right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to break for the night and then uh, I'm going to come back in the morning if something, if and when something exciting happens. Sometimes when I switch over seasons, you know, something happens that's kind of interesting. I know that was kind of a bit dull, but really it's part of the game is all the management stuff. But in the meantime, um, let's come over here and take a look at my peoples and see how that we got. We've got Nita Mira here. She's handling, she's working on, working the, 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 uh, the counter here doing cooking. I know it doesn't look like it, but she is. And then here's Aruna. She's the uh, my 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 uh, crafts person. She's awesome. And then of course we've got Nishtanka and Edgar. They're just sort of hanging out. It's very tense at this table. Uh, I wonder what's going on there. Anyways, I'm gonna do some cooking or something like that, and I'll come back in the morning.
All right. So uh, I think what I'm going to do, rather than I'm just waiting now for the clock to run out, I don't want to start anything because otherwise the screen's going to go blank and all that. So no borders right here. I'm going to go to sleep. So we're going to see you all in the summer. <laughs> well, okay. It won't take long. Aha! There we go. Man in tights. A nobleman was passing through your village. He lost his purse in front of you. What will you do? Um, I'm going to return it to the nobleman. Um, you know what? I'm going to return it to the nobleman. Yeah, I need the reputation. Yep. Basically, remember I was saying I need more reputation? Yeah, we're doing this. It's going to hurt my the reputation. My people aren't going to like it, but it's his money, and I'm fine with that. All right, there we go. They've lost some mood. <laughs> Whoa, why are my fists up? Don't do that. Put your hands away. See, see, look, she's mad. She's like, how could you? How could you give away that money back to the... <laughs> she's, all, she's all unhappy with me now. Oh, boy. Anyways, so look at that. We've got flax. Oh, a little field of flax over there. We got a little bit of flax over there. Not bad. Not bad at all. And we've got... Hi. How you doing, Alruna? All right. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to let people sort out their day. They're, right now, they're they're doing their standard sort of hanging out in front of their, their base, just or homes, figuring out what they're going to do. And Norberta here is having a staring contest with Alruna, which is kind of interesting. Okay. <laughs> uh, but what I want to do is I want to try making some arrows. Um, right now I have... Let's take a look in my inventory. I have... Uh, here it is. Currently, I have 39 arrows. One of them is not in my quiver, but I have 39 arrows. And I've always... I've, I've been sort of nursing this stack of arrows along for quite a while. But I want to see if I can make my own. I, and I think that's kind of a good... And also, I want to make an iron axe. So we're going to make some iron stuff. Now, let's take a look at what we can make. Um, iron tools. So, uh, oh, you don't make the... Uh, you make the arrows over... Wait a minute. Do you make the iron arrows here? Recurve. Oh, you can... Oh, here. Recurve bow. It's linen, thread, and leather. That's kind of... That's kind of cool. Uh, stack of wooden bolts. Stack of stone arrows. Okay, so you don't make them there. Wait a minute. That's just the storage crate. I guess you make them here. Iron weapons. There we go. Stack of iron bolts, stack of iron arrows. So what I need is I need 50 sticks, I need 10 iron, and 50 feathers. Okay, that's cool. I have some on me because I collected the uh, birds from the Huzumawatsits. Oh, we've got damage as well. Okay, well, I'm going to have to do some repairs too, obviously. I forgot about that. Holy moly, I've got a lot of feathers. Let's grab, uh, let's just grab 50. Uh, okay, there we go. We'll do this by hand because it's too difficult otherwise. Uh, we have a little bit of iron. I'm going to have to go get more. But I think I needed, what was it, 10 iron? And then I needed a whole bunch of sticks. And we have one. Hmm. Okay. Let's go and grab some sticks. There's a, There should be a whole bunch just like right up here. Right in the, just in the trees. Oh, there's a stone. I picked that up. Oh, and we can uh, gather berries, too. Although I think we're a little beyond that. We don't really need to go back berry gathering these days. Uh, we have plenty of... of uh... Well, we've got money coming in. I'm basically going to be... Uh, I'm, 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 I've found food to be really kind of a great way to sell. Where's all the sticks? Usually think there's a ton of sticks up here. Okay, this is fine. More sticks. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, I'm going to need a bunch of sticks for repairs as well. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just... Yeah, we're going to have to get sticks anyways. And we've got some sticks over here. And then over here. Oh, yeah. Tons of them. Awesome. And... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's uh, get some... You know what? While I'm up here, let's just get some broadleaf plantain as well. Just for my... I, I, I know I, I don't need a lot of it, but um, I am much more comfortable if I have a good supply of it. There we go. And we can grab the plantain and the sticks at the same time.
There we go. Do, 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 do. And oh, over here too. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. Here, we'll grab one more. All right, and we'll grab, we'll just pick up sticks on our way back as we run into them. Because there's tons of them up here. What with it being a forest and all? Hey there, buddy. How you doing? Oh, he's he's chopping wood. Good, good man. Good man. Okay. Let's head on down. And let's make some stuff. Do a little of our own thing. Oh, I'm looking forward to having some flax. Look at that. All my peoples, they're, look at that. They're all gathering... Gathering flax. Nice. That's just awesome. Okay, we want to go over here. Hi, Alruna. How you doing? Oh, look at that. She's actually working in the forge. That's so cool. Okay. Uh, let's see what we can make. We can make a stack of arrows. Let's do this. Hey! Oh, ho, ho, that's cool. Look at that. Hammer and the pincher thingies. And so you don't burn your fingers, I suppose. Nice. Okay, so I just made um, a stack of 50 arrows, which is probably... Let's take a look. We have 51, of course, because uh, I had one already. And uh, they don't really sell for a lot, do they? They're pretty cheap. But I, I like the fact that I have them. And I think what we can do is we can then... There we go. Now we've equipped 50 of our arrows. And I can, I'll put the other 39 in storage. Just, just so that we have this, just a little bit of a backup. There we go. Okay. Now, how's my storage? Oh, we're doing good. Okay. All right. The other thing we need to do, of course, is we need to repair. So let's, uh... Oh. Oh, and we need straw, too. Okay. That's cool. I think we've got a ton of straw. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's grab, I don't know, 99. Okay. There we go. Get you all repaired. Nice. Wow. Lots of damage. Okay. Let's check out some of the other Ooh, food storage building is damaged too. And got a roof issue up here. You know, I wish we could do um, periodic maintenance instead of waiting for things to fail. I'll be honest with you. I'd, I think I'd much appreciate that. Uh, I'd appreciate that a lot better. Look at this. Oh, whoever lives here is, is definitely unhappy. There we go. Gotta keep my people happy. Oh, for crying out loud, buddy, just stop it. You're, I know, it, it's exhausting work, but our, our villagers, they need us. They need us to fix things up so that they, they're nice and warm and they're not getting all wet. There we go. Okay. Oh. Oh, Norberta, your place is... Oh, my goodness. You know, <laughs> she's like, you always fix my place last. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. Oh, look, she's hard at work. Nice. All right, let's take a look and see if there's anything else that needs repairs. Um, oh, we should fix the, or check the, yep, the hunting lodge. I always forget to check the hunting lodge. And it looks like it needs a bunch of roof repairs. There we go. Oh, Edgar, Edgar's, here, Edgar, hey, buddy, can you move a little bit? There we go. He's unstuck now. Hey, Nishtanka. That's it. Thanks for the hard work. I really appreciate it. The The village depends on you. You're awesome. She is, by the way. Okay. Let's see. Nothing going on there. What about here? Everything's fine. Okay. These guys all look good. We can check on the side, though. Awesome. I think we're in good shape. I think everything's just hunky-dory. 
And what we can do is we can actually do it just as a last minute thing. We just go to the buildings and then we see if anything's declared as damaged. This is an imperfect method because it only, it, like these buildings, for example, will not report damage because there's nobody manning them. Um, yeah, so it's kind of a bit of a problem. All right, let's put that away. Now, there is one more thing that I wouldn't mind doing, and that is making maybe a nice uh, iron axe. Now, the axe requires probably... Let's see what kind of iron we have. You know, we don't have a lot, but I think I need five. Is that going to be enough? Let's go find out. Uh-oh, we're going to be barging her. Aruna, I'm sorry about this, but I just need... No, 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 no. No, it's okay. I'm sorry, Aruna. All right, let's make iron tools. And, oh, we need... um, We need a log. Okay, all right. Let's go get a log. This is a little closer. We can just come in here and get one. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> She's like, why did you put me in here? I don't know what I'm doing. Well, because I honestly didn't know where else to put you. I, I, I'll, I'll have to review that a little bit more off camera. Uh, I think we only need one log. There we go. How's the um, firewood situation? It's getting a bit dire. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's get uh, 20 logs or 18. And uh, let's do a bit of a, just a quick fire. Uh, there, let's do this and then we'll do, yeah, we'll do 18 of it. And we'll make some firewood for the people so that they're not unhappy. And the problem is they'll start burning sticks. And I'm I having I'm having trouble keeping sticks in inventory. So if I can prevent them from burning sticks, I'll be happier that way. And I really need to I, I really want to see if I can get that balance right with the lumberjack, with the two the two wood sheds where, you know, we each one is seventy percent gathering logs and one is 30% firewood, the other is 30% sticks. I'm, I'm just, I'm hoping that we can maybe balance that out a little bit. I know I can, you can look at the burn rate and all of that and yeah, but yeah. <laughs> She's like, whew, this is such hard work standing here in this uh, storage. I'm not buying it, Henrika. <laughs> She's like, she's trying to look busy for the boss, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> and here we can put feathers away for... Uh, we got a log. Um, let's put the rest of the sticks away. The straw, we don't need that. Okay, let's go do this. Okay, let's make ourselves a nice axe. There we go. Oh, I only needed four iron, not five, but that's okay. <laughs> It'd be cool if you could actually see an axe. Right now, he, he's just uh, hitting the pinchers, the grabby things. I don't know what they're called. I, I, I know that there's names for all of this stuff. I just don't know what it is. Um, okay. Let's put that one last iron piece away. And also, um, I think what I'll do is I'll just throw... Well, I'll put my... Wow, it's, it's in terrible shape, but the stone axe away. And I'll keep my iron axe. And, uh, and, and let's see, let's, um, Tori, I'm going to put you in slot one. There we go. Aha! Look at that. We've hit the iron age. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave these trees alone because I don't like cutting down trees too close to my base and then, uh, or my home. We'll just go, we'll grab one of these ones up here. Like this one. All right. Maple tree. Meet your maker. Oh, no. Meet your maker. There we go. One, two, three. Okay, so three chops. That's actually really nice. That is really nice. Look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> and then if I just give it a whack. No. Give it a whack. And that one chop is... Nope, not enough. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, that is awesome. The power of the axe. Isn't that great? Three chops. 
that really does make it more efficient. Now, the big question, of course, is how long is it going to last? Um, I do. I think I did put a perk into reduction of axe um, failure. Like the uh, there is a perk for that. Uh, if we take a look in management, no technology uh, skills actually is more accurate. And then if we go to uh, woodcutter, uh, faster logging. So I have put points into woodcutter, and then there's something woodcutter's trance. Faster. Oh, okay. That's actually, maybe I'll get into that one. Um, I thought there was something that will crafting. Uh, tailor, cook, handyman, sort of craftsman. Yeah, I can't remember. There, I thought there was a reduction in damage to, that's faster. Uh, survivalist. Strong as an oak. No. You know what? It doesn't actually matter, but I, I'm pretty sure there was one in here. Let's see. Woodcutter is faster. Miner, faster. Ah, here we go. Force of nature is 5% lower uh, durability. I haven't, I haven't invested in this. So maybe we will invest in that. But the big question is, is there even a need? Because my understanding is that, you know, there's a point when I'm not going to be gathering logs. I've got peoples to do that for me, right? This is my, this is what I've been told. So maybe it's not something I should worry about. In the meantime, here, let's just grab these sticks as well, because we need them. All right. Okay, let's just keep going. So there you go. We've, we've achieved the Iron Age. I'm, you know, I kind of delayed that a little bit, but, uh, because I didn't really, well, I didn't need it. It didn't, it wasn't high priority. But it is nice to be able to, uh, let's use this one. Uh, it is nice to be able to, hi, Henrika, how you doing? It is nice to be able to, uh, to actually make this stuff and all of that. So there we go. We've got some sticks. Uh, oh, I need to feed myself. I should probably go get some food. All right. So the one other thing I should probably take a look into is the, is extraction. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna go and grab a, a, a bite to eat. Look at that. Minamira is hard at work cooking, of course, because she's, you know, she's like that. And let's see, I made a bunch of, you know what I'm gonna do? I made some, actually what I should do is this. Let's grab the old potage and let's take as much as I can carry. Which is how many kilograms? Uh, forty. Th well, we'll go with forty-three. Oh, that's thirty-four. Okay, and then now we need ten more kilograms of potage. And then we'll just go sell that. She's coming. Let's let her arrive. Oh, Unigost. Hello, Unigost. Not really impressed with you. Wait a minute. Where's... Oh, yeah. What are you doing? You're sitting down on the job? Don't, don't you wave your arms at me. I'm, I'm here to sell you stuff. Good grief. There we go. Uh, she's got 400 coins left. <laughs> so we made a good bit of money on that, actually. <laughs> All right. Bye. Excuse me, sir. Hey. Do you have a minute? Yeah, I got just got back working from the field. How do you feel about that? Huh? How's the job? Buddy? Yeah, I know you don't approve of that. <laughs> My lack of respect for him is definitely Ooh, you know what? Let's see who we got here. Oh, there's uh yeah, there's that dude there that I can't pronounce his name. And we have is Otmar is he new? He's new. Yeah. Hey, do you have a minute? I'll be nice to him. Got any tips for hunting? Uh, how about... You know what? We're going to do the how's the job. Oh, he didn't like that. Yeah, okay, fine. He's not, a, he's not a worker. And you... Let's see. How? Oh, nice weather we're having today, don't you think? Yeah, no. How's the job? Oh, he actually likes work. Okay. 
Um, he likes, yeah, if he likes that, he nice weather we're having. What a day. I've been working nonstop. Oh, he doesn't like that one. All right, I'm going to leave him alone. What is my status with him? We could actually, we could, we could um, recruit him anytime. <laughs> but we're, we're not going to do that. Um, no, no, no. I need, uh, right now, we already have people that we don't. <laughs> Goose has given me lip. I mean beak. <laughs> uh, we already have trouble finding work for our, our current thing. I need to build more buildings and all that sort of stuff. Um, and there is one more thing that I would like to do before uh, we get too much further. If you like, look in the upper right-hand corner, it says gain dynasty reputation. We have 4970 out of 5,000, which means we need 30 more dynasty reputation before we can hit the 5,000 mark and achieve that uh, little tick box on our chapter nine, the dynasty continues quest. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look and we have some exclamation marks, you see. And we're going to go and we're going to basically see what some of our people would like from us. And perhaps maybe um, give them... We'll get a little bit of Dynasty rep out of that. So, let's see. Are you in here? Nope. Is it you? Gerwazy? Um, tell me about yourself. Okay. No, it's not you. Wait a minute. Where is it? Wait a minute. No, it's this way. Are you in here? Oh, is it Edgar? Oh, it's Edgar. Hey, Edgar, how you doing? All right, can I help you with something? My family is starving. I couldn't manage to hunt any animals to provide them food. Dude, you're my hunter. You produce, in, you produce massive amounts of meat. We also don't have any coins to buy some. Oh, for crying out loud. Please bring us some food. I can reward you with some survival knowledge I picked up. Um, I'll be back with the food. Okay. Starving hunter. <laughs> Seriously? Dude, the guy... He, he, I'm going to go right now. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, the journal. And uh, we'll, we'll select... He needs four berries and 12 meat. I'm going to go in... What I'll do is I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to grab some berries. Okay. And then I'm going to go over here and grab some of the meat that he actually caught <laughs> and give it to him actually you know what maybe i won't do that maybe i'll give him other meat not meat that he's caught himself we've got over here uh we have bird traps and and uh, rabbit traps that uh still have a bit of life in them so we'll give him some squished bird meat and um what appears to be very unhappy rabbit meat because these rabbits, I tell you, they don't look happy. Now, how much meat do I have from that? I have four meat from that. Wow, that's not a lot. Okay, that's cool. We'll go and grab... Uh, let's just grab... How much do I need? Twelve. Okay, well, we need eight more. We'll give him uh, some of the meat that... Fine, we'll give him some of the meat that he's caught. And uh, there we go. Okay. <sighs> I tell you. Edgar, seriously, my friend. What is with you? Uh, you're probably... Is that you, Edgar? No, that's Jawazy. Are you in here? Oh, you are. Hey, Edgar, how's it going? Here's the food. Uh, okay, thank you so much. You saved me and my family. Here's what I know about survival. No problem. Thank you. There we go. So we did get um, a little bit of... Uh, uh, also, we got a little bit of dynasty reputation out of that. Which, basically, now we have just one more thing that we need to tick off in our list of uh, Chapter 9, and that is to get an heir. And here's the thing. Norberta down here. Let's go talk to Norberta. Uh, she's working hard on that. Um, every day, you know, she puts a little bit of something into it. <laughs> oh, look, it's all harvested. 
she puts a little something into it, you know. You, you, you know, the funny thing is she doesn't look it, but... Um, tell me something about yourself. Okay, so it doesn't have a status. I don't know why, but it doesn't tell me anything. But my understanding is that she is, uh, she is pregnant. And so, yeah, I don't really see any indication of this. Um, her mood is 39. She's super happy and she's stable at that mood. So that I'm really happy about. Yeah. So we're just going to leave her to her own business and not worry about it. So there we go. All right. Look, but she does. Look, 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 look. Did you see that? She's got a glow. <laughs> uh, me, the glow is from sweat and dirt. So I'm going to have to wash myself because I'm probably quite filthy. All right. Well, I think. Hang on a minute. Let's double check. There's one more thing that I want to check on. And let's go over here and let's see this field. What I've asked them to do is... Okay, they've harvested this flax, right? And I wanted them to convert this all into cabbage. Wow, they if there's one thing they can plant, it's cabbage. And then over here, it looks like they are uh, harvesting carrots. Okay, good. We got tons of carrots. Right. And we got our our fisher fisher dude. This is Bolivar, right? I'll have, I'll have a drink. Is that Bolivar? Yep, Bolivar. He's working hard. All right. So, um Right, I wanted to check the uh, the food the food storage and see how it's going. Let's see. Uh, we are a nearing. Look at that. We're almost maxed out. Uh, what I think I need to do. We've got a lot of carrots. It's the cabbages. We've got so many cabbages. We have so much food. I don't even know what to do with it. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna probably do is I'm gonna basically uh, off camera. Uh, I'm going to wrap up real soon here, and I'm going to sell a whole bunch of this stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's what the next, that's what I'm going to do. It's uh, almost the end of this day, the day one, and look at that. We're, we're into the Iron Age. Hey, Al Al Aruna, you are amazing. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, where I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do. We're going to review a few things and see what happens. So until then, thank you very much, everyone. You all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye. I think the workday is done. <laughs>